سبحان الله والنبي صلى الله عليه وسلم says من غدا أو راح إلى المسجد أعد الله له نزلا كلما غدا أو راح every time a person غدا إلى المسجد يعني he comes for صلاة الفجر لأن الغدو is صلاة الفجر أو راح الرواح is the time after ظهر until عشاء so غدا أو راح brings the five prayers together anyone who goes to the five prayers in the masjid and nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said a'adda allahu lahu nuzulan kullama ghada aw rah allah prepares for him what the owner of a house prepares for his guest every time this person comes to the masjid and goes you know what that means you know if you invited someone to your house if i was invited to your house i know i'm going to have a good time MashaAllah, the owner of the house would feed his guest. He'll look after him. He'll give him to drink. Then sweets, fruits, maybe a gift, spending a good time, watch something together, enjoy a chat and a conversation. Everyone is happy. Two, three hours go by. You walk out the door. Brother, wallah, this was the best thing. InshaAllah, we'll do it next week as well. Looking forward to it. That same attitude... Bring it to the masjid. لأنه every time you enter the masjid, Allah treats you as a guest. Meaning, don't you dare think that you come in, you pray, you sit for a lecture, and you're walking out empty-handed. That doesn't happen. Every single time you leave al masjid, you're walking out with bags and mountains and mountains of reward. Well, this is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the most generous. Not someone who invited you to your house. So when you leave the masjid, the attitude should be, I cannot wait to come do this again. And so Allah Azza wa Jal gave us five prayers a day because the believer can't wait until next day. One prayer a day is not enough. I need to come again for this reward. And included in this reward is protection from al-fitan, from evil, from corruption. The hadith of Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. It's not a light matter praying in the masjid. It's not. It's a huge deal. 